Well, I give maybe an hour a week to picking up litter and that's my way of giving something to the community. I think really I just wanted to make a difference to the community I live in and I started going along to a group that helped in the community and I've ended up as chair of it and I find that I just love helping people and helping the community and making the area that we live in better. Uh, I think it's a, a, a great sense of giving something back to the community and especially with the young people it's that sense of that you're helping them to grow in self-worth and helping them to develop their own skills and their own uh, leadership skills. When I'm with these people my confidence is like that but when I'm in a different environment with other people it's it goes. It, it's really helped me to bring out my shell. It's just it, it just brings to light what, what you can do for people when, once you put your mind to it, basically. Well, I'm, I'm retired, <laughs> so I, I've got plenty of spare time, and it's nice to put something into the community. There was, there was an emptiness. Uh, wife never worked, so I've been a breadwinner. When I went to breadwinner, I thought, there's got to be more to life than this. So, uh, so I'm saying, I knew Terry, who was one of the head cods down there, and I went down and saw him and he says, yeah, sure. So and I say it's six years later and I'm still loving it. It keeps you busy then volunteering, I'm thinking. It certainly does. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. But, uh, it makes you feel proud anyway because you're yeah. doing something, you're meeting different people, uh, you're making more new friends and you're doing something useful, you know, which is a benefit for other people. Well, I get a lot of rewards by seeing, <coughs> seeing communities together, uh, families I've never met and they all get together. And they seem to uh, seem to enjoy what we do. Opportunity to empower yourself, to learn, um, to meet new people. Um, it's a great way of building confidence. And also, it's about encouraging people to develop the confidence and um, get back into work and give them something to do. We love it. We absolutely we wouldn't do it if we didn't love it. It's something you've got to enjoy it, and we really do love it. We love the history, we love all, meeting all the people. I've been here today, everybody greets us. Some of them, I can't even remember who they are. But, <laughs> but you know, they, they, they love it. Self-esteem, confidence, um, getting out, socialising with people, which is one of the really big things and stuff for, for a lot of them. Um, and self-belief, actually, mm -hmm. that actually they can, they can do something or, you know, they can deliver something in the community with a little bit of support from somebody else. But generally, they then they move forward and they carry things on themselves and develop themselves and everything. Personally, um, it makes you feel good to know that you're helping somebody. You know, when you see these vulnerable people walking in for lunch that you know that they've not got anybody to have lunch with at Christmas and that there's people there that are organising these events, it just gives you a good self-worth. I wouldn't tell them that if they want to, to do it, do it. As Sheila says, go for it. Just do it. Just do it. Get involved, that's what I'd say to people. And really try and make a difference.